guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a birthday project pan update. And this is my first update and my only update before my finale. So I will just get right into it. Because I'm turning 22 on December 11th, I will use up 22 items or hit goals on 22 items. I've chosen 24 items because I want to have a bigger chance to tr finish the 22 items. Yeah, I'll just go through the items with you now. I think I have done great, <laughs> not the best. Um, I have finished some goals and made good progress. I'm not quite sure if I can finish the 22 items, but I'm trying my hardest. I want to pan some eyeshadows because I love eyeshadows and these eyeshadows is beginning to be quite old, so I wanted to pan some. The first duo I have here is from Oriflame and it is just a duo. But I will insert a picture from the intro. And this is how it looks like now. I have hit major pan in this grayish-ish, white-ish shade. And I have a good dip in the darker grey shade. To hit pan on this shade I need to mix this shade because this is quite dark to set my primer or anything and by itself it doesn't show up. I'm quite happy about this. I'm sure I can hit pan on this grey shade before the finale and my goal for this one was just to hit pan on both shades. So this is one item down. Then I have this single from Neil Short, a Danish brand, and my goal was to hit pan, so I will insert the picture from the intro. And I have hit pan on this too. I had a good dip before I even started the project, but I'm quite happy about this pan. If you want me to continue using these products and see how far I go, let me know. Then I have a little shadow here, I have departed, and I will insert a picture from the intro. And I have hit pen on this too. <laughs> so one more item down. That was the three items I have finished or actually I hit my goal, so I will just keep showing the items and keep tell you about the progress. If we talk about more eyeshadows, I have this quote here from Elizabeth Arden, and I will insert a picture from the intro. And this is how it looks like now. So the only difference is the dark red shade that I'm focusing on and only using from this palette right now. I don't think I have hit pan on this yet because the thing you see in the middle of the red shade is actually the grey shadow, I think. I'm not quite sure. I think it's strange that it's the grey shade underneath and not pan. I don't know what I'm considering this this pen or what, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Then we have the quad from Remy London and it is in Twilight Zone. I will insert a picture from the beginning of the intro. And this is where I am now. I haven't hit pen on this white shade which I am focusing on. Um, and my goal is to have pan, obviously. I have a very, very good dip in this shade, so I think for sure I can hit pan by my finale. I have this Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream, and it is in St. Lucia. I will insert a picture from the intro. And this is where I am now. I'm only focusing on the blush. It's quite hard to use it because I only use my fingers and my stipple brush. I don't use that much at the time, but I think I have done quite good actually. So I'm quite excited because I hope I can finish this by the finale. 
And then we have my Wooden Wild Cover All Concealer Palette and I'm focusing on the highlighter and I will insert a picture. And this is where I am now. I have used up this side here of the highlighter and I have hit the corner here. To hit the corners I need to use a brush. Usually I use my fingers but to get in the corners I use a brush. But I don't waste any product though. So yeah, I'm quite excited and I hope I can finish this by the finale, which is my goal. Then we have this lip balm from Lisbeth Dahl, and I will try to insert a picture from the intro, but I don't think you can see that much of a difference. I haven't hit pen or anything, but I will insert the picture next to it so you kind of can see if I don't know if you can see a difference, but yeah. Then we have my two color to choose from Maybelline. The first one is in permanent taupe and I will insert a picture from the intro. And this is where I am now. I have written down on my paper that my goal was to finish half of it. I haven't quite done that. I only need to use this much of the product to have finished half of it. Um, so I have almost hit my goal and I think I can do it by the next update. I would love to finish all of it but I don't think I can do that. But Then we have the internal silver and I will insert a picture from the intro. And this is where I am now. So I might have finished half of it, but I'm not quite sure. Um, if I haven't, I will only need this much here. It's a very, very little corner I need to, if I can finish half of it. But my goal was to finish all of it, so I think I can do that by the next update. And I'm quite excited because at the end of the night, this crumbles off my eyes, so it dries out on my eyes at the end of the day. But it's very, very pretty all day long and in school, and then I come home, it's like falling off my eyelids, basically. Then we have my primer from Bare Minerals Prime Time, and it is the foundation primer in original and this is a little sample size. I was here at the beginning and now I'm down to here. There have been sometimes I have forgotten this primer so I could have used it up but I didn't. But I'm quite sure I can finish it by the next update. Then we have my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and I was here at the intro and now I'm down to here. I'm actually quite surprised I have finished that much of the foundation um, because this is extremely pigmented. For my taste it is more of a full coverage foundation. Um, I like the medium coverage foundation. I have mixed that with the MAC Pro Long Run Concealer and I have I was here in the intro and now I'm down to here. I have mixed those two with the Body Shop Lightning Shade Adjusting Drops into this little container and made a little mixture. I'm using that amount in one week. For my nail polishes I have done quite good actually. The first one is my Rimmel 60 seconds nail polish and I was, it's hard to see because it's dark, but I was up to here by the intro and now I'm down to here. So I have used up that much in a month. I'm very very proud of myself actually. Because I don't paint my nails that often, I'm quite surprised it is down to this much, but I have been very good at um, reapplying when my nails is looking like this, and then take those off and paint new ones. Um, so I think that is why it has gone so down so quickly, because this tips um, right off the same day or the day after so yeah that's crappy but i love 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 the color it's like a navy blue i love this one by the color and not the formula <laughs> it's beginning to be quite thick so it doesn't 
lay that good on my nails. So this one is more full, so it's more liquid and it lays much nicer on my nails. And it is the e.l.f. nail polish in smoky brown. And I was up to here by the intro and now I'm down to here. And I'm quite excited about that too because I haven't used it that much. A few times on my toes because I'm better at reapplying on my toes. And then a couple of times on my nails. Then we have this clear nail polish um, from the pen and I was here at the intro and here by the first update which is now. Because the nail polish is chipping quite bad quite fast this doesn't help so I haven't used this that much. Then I have my Benefit Bad Girl Lash uh, Mascara sample. I hate this stuff. It doesn't do anything for my lashes. I've used this consistently for like a week and then I just gave up. I don't like it. I hate it. I want to call this done by now but no, I know it isn't. But by the end of this project it is definitely gone because I hate this stuff. Firstly it is a big big wound um, I can't control it and secondly it is a natural bristle brush or something um, and I don't like that I like the rubber brushes um, so yeah don't like this then we have my elf eyelid primer in pill and I'm up to here so I only have this left last time I had some here and here but now I only have this much left I know I can finish this by the next update, I really hope so, but I'm crossing my fingers, I want to, I want to so bad. My Max Factor Lip Finity Lasting Lip Tint is still going strong, I have been bad at using this, but I'm tempting to call this quit by the end of this uh, project. I'm just tired of it and it's an extra step in my routine, because I forget. And my Flamar Miracle Slim Touch. Uh, liquid eyeliner, it's still going strong, I still hate it and I use it every single day. Yeah. Okay, and now for the items I need to mark and I'm quite excited and I'm quite excited to show you the progress. The first one is my Wen Wild Color Icon White Eyeliner. At the intro I was up to here and now I'm down to here. I'm quite excited about this because this is my halfway to the goal so I'm quite excited that I can hit my goal by the end of this project and hopefully I can have it done by the end of the year which I'm so excited about because I hate this stuff and I only use it as a base for my eyeshadows and it is an extra step I don't want to take in my makeup routine. I'm quite excited about this one and I'm mostly excited about this one because this has gone so fast and I have almost, almost reached my goal about this one. So for the intro I was up to here and now I'm down to there. That's amazing. Um, so I'm almost at my goal for the end of this project. Um, if I'm really really good I can finish it but I don't think I can. It did break a few times when I wanted to sharpen it but I don't think it have made that much of a difference because I have used this a lot. A lot. This is a cool cause lip liner, by the way. And then for my Maybelline eyeliner. This one is so thick but it's so creamy and I quite like it. And it actually lasts quite good in my waterline, I would say. But it's quite difficult to use because it is so, so big. Of a pencil but this is what I am about this one and I'm quite excited about this because it's a black eyeliner and it's a pencil and I don't use it that often um, so I'm quite excited about this progress and then for my wet lipstick from the color workshop I'm excited I am so excited I hope I can do this I'm halfway to my goal <laughs> I'm so excited okay Okay. I hope I can do this. So if you can see here was I uh, by my intro and now I'm down to here. So I have used quite a bit of it um, and my goal is to finish this one. If I use it just as much as I have done in this month, 
I can finish this. And I'm so excited if I can finish a wet lipstick because that doesn't happen that often. And I don't use this in school, so I only use this in the weekends. And it's not every weekend I use this. So I'm quite excited that I can finish this one off. That was my last item in my pretty pan, birthday pretty pan. And I hope you enjoyed. I'm quite excited about my progress. I hope I can finish 22 items or hit my goals on 22 items by the finale, which is next update. Um, I know there is like five weeks until my birthday. Um, I can have the finale up just before my birthday because my birthday is on Sunday and my upload schedule is Friday. So I don't know what to do. Should I do it the week after or just the Friday before my birthday? Tell me what you think in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this update. I'm quite excited about this project because I think I have been successful. I haven't finished that much but by the finale I think I can finish a lot of items. I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like if you did subscribe for more videos and I have Soon my update from my beauty project pen to upload. It is either the next week or the week after that. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys!